Okay, so a few people have asked me a little bit more about the Maha PowerX charger that I did a review on a while ago. As far as I know, there's no way to just check the capacity of a battery. To check the capacity, you're going to have to do a refresh analyze. If you just want to know if the battery is charged or not, you can use a multimeter or something else to check the voltage and it should be around 1.4 is a normal kind of uh, nickel metal hydride AA type um, voltage uh, that I've found. Um, so let's get into uh, multiple cell charging. Now the great part about this charger is each of these slots is completely independent of all the others so it doesn't matter what you have in each slot. Now I've tried to line up here so that you can hopefully see the screen as well as um, which batteries I'm putting in. I've got an Eneloop which is rated at 1900. I also have this kind of no-name rechargeable AA, it's 2300 milliamp as you can see there. I've got a Duracell that's rated at um, 2000 on here. This is kind of a tricky one because it's got two numbers. It says DX1500 or DX1500 nickel metal hydride, but then it says 2000 milliamp below. So that's the rating we want, 2000 milliamp. Um, and we've got this very, very cheap 600 milliamp battery. So another question somebody asked is if it stores settings. And as far as I know, the answer to that is no. It does start with a default that works pretty good for most things. Like the Eneloop is 1900 milliamp hours. So if we pop that in and just right now it's defaulted to charge. So we'll just hit enter. Charge rate is 1000 milliamps, which is fine for a 1900 milliamp battery. Um, 2300 milliamp battery here, this one here. Um, I'll put that one in this slot. And again, it comes up, asks me what mode I want. I want to charge. And you can, a thousand would be fine for this. It'd take a little longer. If you want, you can up it to 1100 or 1200. But leaving it at the default is fine for this one. 2000 milliamp battery, likewise, is going to be the same. 1000 milliamp will be fine. And a 500 milliamp discharge will be fine too. So, with this one though, we're going to set this one to refresh analyze. So 1000 milliamp charge, 500 milliamp discharge. And then the 600, we're going to run a, there, just didn't get a connection there for a second. We're going to cycle that. Now this is where the default will not work. Since this is only 600 milliamps, 1000 milliamps is going to charge that way too fast. So I'll set it to 300 and set this to 200. And we'll do two cycles. So now that we've got all four of these batteries charging, you can hit the slot button here. And you see this is the first slot. It's on mode charge. Tells you where the current progress is, what it's doing. And then you can hit slot again. Now it's on this slot. Tells you its current progress, cycles through the how long it's been running and the voltage and everything. Slot again. Now it's onto this slot. I, I think you see where I'm going with this. It's really a great charger that each slot is independent and you can charge anything. This one you can be refreshing. This one you can be cycling. Now see, this is one thing that... Um, failed to mention, which now I will mention in this video, in my old one. Battery that comes up high. That is pretty much an indication that the battery is failed. It's internally shorted or in some way damaged to where it can't really be charged. Some people have had success taking like a working battery with some little wire prongs made out of like paper clip or something like that and just touching it to the terminals to fool the charger into trying to charge it anyways and that has worked but of course you know 
proceed at your own risk there. Don't want to be uh, blowing anything up. So for me, when you can get eight good AA batteries for around 20 bucks, they last for a long time. I've been using this charger now for well over a year, um, charging all the batteries for my television remotes, for my Wii remotes, for flashlights, pretty much you name it. Anything that I've got that runs on double A's, I've been charging with this charger. I've been using a lot of the Eneloop batteries. I also just picked up some of the Amazon Basics batteries. Um, I'll have a link to those batteries in our um, in the show notes on our Amazon store because they are actually, from what everybody is telling me, they're a rebranded Eneloop for a few dollars less. So I've got some. I'm going to be testing them out and reporting back after I've had some time to use them and see where they're at. So hopefully this answers everybody's questions. Um, the charger will just sit here and cycle through all its all the slots and show you the status of each of them. And when they're done, down where the little arrow is below the current slot, it'll come up and say done under each of those. So then you know you can pop them out and put a new one in and it'll again jump to that and let you select the mode. So hopefully this answers everybody's questions. If it doesn't, feel free to message me on YouTube, leave a comment or post on our forums. Um, for this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.